So after one year of looking at the game just sitting in my Steam library, I decided to install New World again, see the new content the game has to offer. Of course, you won't see a lot of new content in this video because, as you can see in the title, everything that I'll talk about is purely based on my thoughts about the new player experience and my thoughts about the game in general. Keep in mind, this video is 100% subjective and everything I say doesn't have to be a fact or the truth. It's just how I feel about the game and the experience I had in these few hours of gameplay that I play today. As you can see, I already have a level 24 character. I played around 20 hours of New World, which is not a lot, but I believe I have some right to say what I think about it and what has changed since I played. I decided to start fresh to see how it looks like making a new character in New World in May 2022. When I checked the servers, I immediately saw that there is no Europe servers with high population, only medium and low which really made me sad, as one of the core memories of the game was seeing tons, and I mean tons, of players in the world. New World has lost over 90% of its total population and we all know the reasons why. Lack of content, lack of things to do and lack of polish in general is what killed New World. But is New World dead or is it just in a hold? I believe New World is far from a dead game. I believe most people that left the game will come back eventually as they add more content. The tutorial part is the same, and it is brilliant. Core mechanics are introduced, you kill some enemies and fight the tutorial boss which is amazing. I love when games have some kind of tutorial boss to fight because everyone loves to fight a giant dude with a cool looking weapon. The scenery and environment in this game are breathtaking. Honestly, I like exploring and doing some life skills more than doing any of the content in the game. When you finish the tutorial, you are teleported to one of the starting zones. Last time I played, one of the biggest drawbacks for me was that uh, the starting zone was a random and that you could not start with your friend 100%. One of you had to run a few miles to meet, so you can start together and I believe that's still the case as I could not choose where I want to spawn. Tutorial is pretty much the same, but with less people. I have seen only few low levels players and to be completely honest, I didn't look at it the bad way. Not at all, I actually enjoyed leveling way more than before. Maybe they did something to the game, but I'm not quite sure what. I think the reason why I enjoyed it more is that I was more immersed in this mystical world when there are not as many heroes, which are the players, in the same place. Because when there are a lot of heroes, each one makes the other one feel less important. And when there are few of us, you kind of feel more important to the world. I believe that is the reason why the leveling was way more enjoyable. They added a new weapon, a blunderbuss, which is a weapon similar to the musket but more explodable which is really cool. They are going to release great swords and daggers soon which will again make new world more alive and with each update more and more people will come back. So really, if you are a new player and you are looking for a great MMORPG and you like the look of new world, don't let the population numbers scare you. As I can assure you, it won't get worse than this, the numbers will go up. Through my leveling experience, I encountered some major and minor bugs. The bug that irritated me the most was the failed or slow rendering when I got to the city. The ground would stay like this for 30 seconds or more. Now I know it may be due to my laptop. Yes, I'm playing on a laptop with 6050 Ti and E5 10th generation processor with only 8GB of RAM, but I'm running the game on medium and this is inexcusable. My laptop made sounds I never heard before, like it was a spaceship or something. <laughs> Rendering took ages and each time I entered a city I had to wait a minute for all NPCs to load. It may be due to my PC, but I still believe there are other reasons why. The other bug I encountered was that I failed to process materials because when I started to process, they teleported me back few meters and it just had to wait for it to cancel itself due to an error. 
I couldn't escape it, I literally had to wait and watch this blank screen, it happened more than once. Most of the quests were the same as before, I didn't start in the same town as I did a year back but I could see they are more or less the same. Now the 1 to 10 leveling was never a problem, so I can't say anything bad about the quests. They are fun, fresh and unique. The problem was leveling from 25 to 60, which I won't cover in this video as this is purely 1 to 10 experience. The quest I like the most is the one where you need to kill an alpha wolf because it felt really unique. You first had to interact with the world, kill 5 of his small enemies and then a big wolf, which is a boss, would appear. It was a really cool quest. Those kind of quests show that new world quests making really has potential, but sadly it felt like they are rushing to release the game and made most of the later quests copy-paste style. Kill or collect X number of that, you know, standard kill or fetch quest. I don't know about later content, but the one I experienced today really made me feel like the game is going into the right direction. The game feels like Albion Online mixed with an action combat styled MMORPG, player driven economy and professions are top notch and that is the most unique part of the new world. You can start doing professions from level 1. The part I like the most is how each player can interact with environment as much as they want. The idea that one player can deforest the whole forest really blows my mind. The sound in this game is a true masterpiece as well. Cutting trees and hearing other people cut trees far in the distance is so good. The sound of trees falling down amazing. Simply brilliant. The combat that I experienced was again really good, it was responsive, fast and the spells and abilities looked and felt amazing. It was not too easy nor too hard, it was just as these starting levels should be. Introduce combat to player, make him use his brain but don't make it too hard so he would quit before even starting. They did that really good. I remember that combat did become really boring to me on my other character from the last year's experience. But as they release new weapons, more combinations will be possible, so the combat will become better and better. There is no doubt about that. I guess I kind of lost track of what this video was about, and that is my leveling experience, and I talked about New World in general. I guess it's because nothing really extraordinary happened in those 2 hours of gameplay. Leveling 1 to 10 was kind of the same as before, but with less players running around doing stuff. And I'm kind of mad at New World developers for so many missed ideas and opportunities. I watched dozens of videos and streams about the game and I know a lot of people feel the same as I do. So I guess that concludes it. New World is a good game, but it's not a great game. People expected too much from it and they were disappointed because the game was not what they expected. I really like New World, I like leveling in the world, I liked PvPing on my old character and I don't really care about what people think or say about the game as I know each and every one of us has their own thoughts about this game. It is in a rather weird and awkward situation right now but I believe with enough time and patience the game will come back and it will be great again. I might make a part 2 of this because all of my thoughts and feelings could not be said in one video. And I do really wonder how is the leveling experience now for higher levels. Anyways, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up as it would mean a lot to me. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get notified about my further uploads. If you don't agree with me, do comment down below your thoughts about the game or your leveling experience as I would be happy to hear you out. I wish you all an amazing rest of the day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!